Sing through my voice, pray through my hands, let the ways be open. Sing through my voice, pray through my hands, let the ways be open. We gather tonight for the eighth night of Yule. Lonesome the journey has been. It is easy to feel solitude when undertaking on bettering oneself. However, we are not alone. All around us, relationship can be found and invested in. Reciprocity is the truest gift we give others and can receive in return. Tonight, we gather to journey into the light. The spirits of the sky are above us. The spirits of the land are around us. The spirits of the waters flow below us. Together with all the numinous beings of earth, sky, and water, our hearts as one. Let us pray with a good fire. On this, the eighth night of Yule, we begin our journey through liminal space. The weight of the year lays heavy on our shoulders. Now is the time of renewal, reflection, and purification as we transition into the light. Our journey begins with our physical selves in our current state. As we move through this journey, we will face challenges, moral quandaries, and blessings. With each new night, our minds and spirits will also be challenged by the runes, eventually evolving into esoteric and spiritual challenges. We will travel through the cycle of rebirth, growth, success, failure, and eventually evolve the new slate that this year was meant to inspire. We are not simply resetting ourselves, but really challenging us to be more tempered individuals as we usher in the return of the light. We take a moment now to renew our commitment to the virtues taught to us by the kindreds. Many things have been handed down to us generationally. May we carry these virtues taught to us by our ancestors and hold them close to our hearts, minds, and spirits. May we walk with wisdom. May we seek through vision. May we act through courage. Many things have been handed to us by forces beyond our realm. May we carry these virtues taught to us by the shining and noble ones and hold them close to our hearts, minds, and spirits. May we move through our surroundings with piety. May we embody the spirit of hospitality. May we be ambassadors of integrity. Many things have been taught to us by the very spirits of nature. May we carry these virtues taught to us by the nature kin and hold them close to our hearts, minds, and spirits. May we inspire generations through fertility. May we temper ourselves through moderation. May we strengthen our resolves with perseverance. Many things have been taught to us by our peers. May we carry these virtues taught to us by humanity and hold them close to our hearts, minds, and spirits. May we see every living being through compassion. May we seek for every living being justice. May we foster for every living being the spirit of autonomy. With the virtues taught to us by those who surround us, filling our spirits, may we enter into sacred and holy space, ready to do our work. Magpie, friend of the grove and faithful companion, fly on ahead and prepare the way. Ever the beautiful collector and clever friend, we set these offerings aside for you. The sacred center exists out of time and space and is the center of the cosmos. Let us now place ourselves at the center. Let us feel the connection of the liminal space here in our present place. The path before us is in darkness. We call now to they who illuminate the paths and aid those in seeking the center. Sacred greeter, preserver of the path, keeper of the ways, illuminate the path before us that we may enter into sacred space of fellowship. Ever guiding light and friendly face, we set these offerings aside for you. The root of the waters is in chaos, are the sustenance that feeds the great tree. Without the order of the cosmos, the chaos would engulf us. Without the waters of chaos, the tree could not survive. The water that pools in the well is teeming with knowledge and creativity. Protector of the waters, we seek to enter into sacred space before you. We come now purified through virtue to seek fellowship among the kindreds. Protector of the waters, preserver of life, guardian of the sacred well, we set these offerings aside for you. Fire, by its very nature, is holy. All things that come in contact are made sacred. 
The fires that burn here are reflected in the hearts of those whose own flames burn in their hearts. The warmth felt here is the warmth felt by all the kindreds. We seek to join by this fire in fellowship here at the center of the cosmos. Guardian of the fire, keeper of the holies, attendant to the flames, we set these offerings aside for you. Tonight, we continue our journey into the light half of the year. Each night of Yule, we will receive two gifts to aid us in our journey. Tonight's gifts are Gabo and Ewaz. It seems our previous lot was to be for a fortunate one. We have been blessed with the reciprocity of gifts and companionship on this journey. The gift of the horse and the rider is a fortunate one. It is the embodiment of how we interact with others. There is mutual respect between the rider and the horse. Things are given and things are taken. We are not alone in our journeys. Seek out partnership wherever it is necessary. Our second gift is the gift of reciprocity. This gift will feed the relationships that drive us forward in mutual respect and understanding. How fortunate we are to recognize our allies as we move forward into the light. Go with the light of the fire inside you. Go with the might of the gods to guide you. Go with the ancestors beside you. Go with the fire. Go with the fire. Go now, children of Earth, in peace with the blessings of the runes and a fire in your hearts. Our journey has begun but our working tonight has ended.